Man, I hate these shits. <laughs> um, I don't even know if we recorded that one. Oi, it's Electronics. Yo, this is Tony with Sank Designs. Hey, this is Kai Dubs. Oi, oh, it's your boy, Graham Green. What's up, it's Chime. This is Head. It's Level Up. Yo, what up, this is Evac Protocol. Yo, it's your boy, brother. Yo, this is Mark the Beast. Yo, what's good, this is Otto G. When you're tuned in with the Festival Finesse. Can I get a yeah? Finesse gang, can I get a year? Year! What is good, YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in once again. For those of you who are new here and don't know me, I'm the Festival Finesser, and this is Bree. Today we're bringing you guys a different video. Usually we're on the channel covering music festivals, live events, things that are going on on the East Coast, Tri-State area. But today we're going to be talking about some EDM news. I've done videos in the past about Datsik, Monks, and today we're going to be talking about snails. As you guys can see, I am a big snails fan. Bree is a big Snails fan, and in the last 24 hours, we got some information that is surfacing from Reddit, Twitter, and some accusations that are being made against Snails that are very similar to the accusations that are made against Datsik. We wanted to first, one, let you guys know what's going on and that these allegations are surfacing, and two, we wanted to give you guys our opinions and just talk about the matter because Datsik matter is very serious. I don't want to see this happen to someone like Snails because Snails is a good guy from what I've seen, and he's a good producer, and it's just so unfortunate to have someone go down because of words that were said that aren't true. So we're going to start talking, and we're going to give you guys some of the tweets that were said, some of the accusations that were made, and then some standpoint from the male mind, some insight from the female mind, and we're going to kind of bounce back, debate a little bit, and hopefully get you guys talking in the comments. So here are some of the accusations that were made against Snails going forward. So the tweets I'm about to read you guys were posted in 2018 in March. So keep that in mind um, because it's 2019. Snails is just as bad as Datsik. I was partying with him last year at a fest, and he was making unwanted sexual advances on my friends, and his crew kept trying to get them back to drink out of a bottle that they thought was drugged. Men suck. Somebody else said, Not even surprised about Datsik. Snails came to my house after a show and drank over $200 worth of my alcohol, then tried to have sex with my ex-best friend and I, then left after we rejected him. Sad that most DJs in the industry are like this. Another screenshot reads, so glad you shared this, referring back to the last tweets. A close friend of mine had a very similar experience with Snails and him trying to get her drunk. He jokingly held her down and she had actual bruises on her arms the next day. Somebody else then replied to her reply, Happened to me too. Me and some of my girls went on his tour bus because we were really good friends with the people he was on tour with. And he pulled me back into his room and was trying to force me to do things with him and then got all upset and was talking shit to everybody. Then the last one we have here of this thread, these can all be found on Twitter from a Reddit post. When he opened for Adventure Club in Philly in 2016, he raped a girl who's friends with one of my friends. I'm not friends with her, I just know of her. And my friend was the last one he had texted. So he called him after and was like, yo, come get your friend, this is where she is, and dipped on my friend. And my friend picked her up and apparently he didn't even put pants back on her and she was unconscious. This was in 2016. This was the oldest one. And this is probably the most serious one. This is and one this that was very similar to an instance that happened with Datsik. Bringing people back on the tour bus and then getting calling their friends like, yo, your friend is here. And, you know, once they get yeah, here. Yeah, really similar. Yeah, yeah, that one was the most similar. So they're basically picking that one uh, tweet apart saying the timeline wouldn't match up if you go up a little bit. Because Snails would have had to have been in Philly to have been in Philly opening for AC. Oh. That's just one. Yeah, but that would then that would then disclose the rape theory. Cuz what someone else said is everything That's just that one tweet. everything he's done is not really illegal. He's just been being touchy, creepy. And then someone said, "Oh, but he just said he raped somebody in 2016." Someone said well, that was that sick. The, the only So this is something this is a post on Reddit. A few close friends of mine, female photographers, employed in the industry. The general consensus among them over the past two years is that Snells is a prick who loves to pressure people into doing things when he's drunk, which he always is. Even if they've never explicitly seen him sexually assault someone, it wouldn't be surprising if he did considering the way he usually treats others. Interesting. That's the issue I find with these situations, though. Just because he can be a prick, which alcoholics usually are, that doesn't make them a rapist or sex offender until he's proven to be one. Valid point. That's true. So I'm pretty sure this is a, this is from Ominous. Oh my God. I could be wrong. But it says, I'm never surprised anymore. And somebody said, as an industry professional, can you verify any credibility on these leads or claims? Exactly. And uh, he said, not specifically, but more so speaking about the overall scene, it's just a lot of people in this industry are gross and really shitty. I could kind of agree with that. I mean, it's it's the party we, scene. We don't know the industry. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We don't, but drugs and alcohol are usually always involved in stuff like this. You know, oh, that's like, you know, he he had he always had K or he drugged me or this or that. And then like, I don't know, I saw a tweet before and it was like, you know, Snell's uh, addressed an accusation 
you know, whenever that was, and he blocks it because he doesn't want to fucking deal with it, and I don't blame him. I mean, I wouldn't want to deal with this shit either. I don't think all of it's bullshit. I think, you know, some people do get touchy-feely grabby sometimes, you know, when you're drinking and stuff. That happens. It's not, like, it doesn't happen in the crowd. It happens. It happens in the crowd backstage, I'm telling you. Right now, Snuzz is blocking people on Twitter that are talking about this. Some people are saying that he's doing this because he's hiding something and he's guilty. This is what Datsik did. Datsik was going private, blocking people. Snails has not done all that yet. But again, this is just this is information that hasn't even been servicing for 24 hours yet, and I'm sure the internet is gonna do crazy things with it, and it could possibly just blow over. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. hoping it just blows over, and it's just you know a quick 24 hour thing, and we forget about it because you know I think we made the best example out of Datsik, and that's it. We don't have to do it anymore. Everyone knows rape is not good. It's a serious matter, and we should not be allegedly accusing people unless yeah. we have hard evidence if you have hard evidence bring it to the police bring it to an official get evidence because right now all this twitter talk is making us look bad and it's making these artists look bad well, you know why are you putting these artists in a negative light because of something that you because of oh, i don't even know why <laughs> i don't i don't i don't get why these things have to happen well we don't know if the police haven't been involved yet or not we don't know anything we don't know anything <laughs> you know so, looking back at all these accusations, the first one I read, his crew kept trying to get them to drink out of a bottle, which they thought was drugged. Thought was drugged. No one knew if it was drugged. You're just making this assumption that it was drugged. And then we go over here. Then tried to have sex with my ex-best friend and I, and we rejected him. You invited him back to the room. You invited Snails to your house. Snails tried to have sex with you. You rejected him. He left. Sounds like any other guy trying to get with a girl. Right? <laughs> These are people too, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. don't don't be mad because he tried to get with you. You invited him to, you gave him the wrong idea. You let him on. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are things you have to think about when reading these tweets. And so this is another one. Me and some of my girls were on his tour bus because we were really good friends with the people he was on tour with. He doesn't mention who was on tour. There's no details, you know? Pulled me back to his room and trying to force me to do things with him. Like what? And then got upset and was talking shit to everybody. What is interesting is why are we talking about 2016 tweets now? in 2019 why are these not being brought up in 2016 and why do you feel it's okay now to bring it up because we just talked about that sick because you just, you just watched that sick go down and now all of a sudden it's okay to bring other djs down too like i don't get it i don't get why you know if it's a if it's a big deal why are we bringing it up now why are you waiting you know i again this whole me too movement i saw a tweet about this this me too movement i understand people are afraid to speak out but we're going up for other people's claims that we don't even know are true and we're just finding similarities and all of a sudden, we're going down, you know, the negative path. And it's just, I don't think someone's career should be torn and tarnished because of words and allegations. If you, if you got a problem, bring it to the police, bring it to court, and get some evidence. Right now, we have no evidence. So all we have are people saying things on Twitter. And Twitter, EDM Twitter, is just a bad place. You know, it's a good place, but there is a lot of arguments, a lot of controversy. A lot of drama. A lot, and a lot of drama, exactly. Again, this could just be some 24-hour thing, and I'm making a big deal out of it. But the fact that it's happening shows how powerful the internet is. And I know how powerful the internet is. I've there's experienced it. About it. There, yeah, literally. And not even 24 hours, and there's memes about it. So... You know, I'm seeing all these, I don't want to see snails go down like that. Like, neither do I. I don't want to see snails go down because it's just going to start a trend of people, you know, accusing. If you if you have one, exactly, yeah. there's this whole, if you get stood up and it's these people that are just, you know, the butt hurt that they didn't get to get with the DJ and they don't want to feel like groupies or whatever. And, or they did get with him because they were so fucked up and they don't want to feel like groupies and they don't want to feel, they don't want to shame themselves. So they shame the DJ. And it's a, he said, she said kind of situation right now. And I'm really interested to see where Snails goes with it because I think, you know, maybe in his he's doing the best thing and blocking all the bullshit because, you know, what he doesn't know doesn't hurt him. You know, he he doesn't want to hear that shit because he's going to have to deal with it later. You know, if he starts replying to it and feeding into it, I feel like it's someone, you know, if somebody was talking hate on me, you just block, block it. it. You know what I'm saying? You just cut it out. Yeah. And how do you feel about the whole instance? I, I, I'm kind of 50-50 with it. I think that... You know, a lot of these girls, you know, they get fucked up or they, you know, want to cause drama or this or that or whatever. And, you know, they hear one girl say it. So, you know, a bunch of girls want to get in on it and you just cause a bunch of drama, a bunch of dumb shit. But on the other hand, you know, we all get fucked up. There's drugs and alcohol and like, you know, a lot of things involved. Everyone's partying. You know, it is the party scene. And, you know, I mean, I'm not saying I, I, I don't know. What, I don't know what to believe, you know, on either on Dasik or Snails. I really don't. But like I said, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not there. You know, I've never seen anything. I've partied with snails once or twice, and he did the same thing kind of to me, you know, just like pouring alcohol down my throat. I'm like, you know, we were all partying. It was in front of a bunch of people and his people and my people. And like, you know, I didn't feel forced or anything, but that's just my experience. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I only know from what 
what other people are saying on the internet. And That's what's also interesting is there's so much good that like so many people are defending. And again, some people defended that sick, but so many people are defending Snails and saying Snails will never do something like that. I've never heard of Snails ever doing anything like that. And you were saying that there was allegations that was that were brought up against Snails when the Dasik. Yeah, yeah, happened. I did. Re- I do remember someone telling me. And that's what I'm saying. Things know, that happened in 2016. And I kind of blew it off because Datsik was blowing up at that time, and like you know about that. Again, more drama. People just want yeah, to cause drama, drama because like, one person comes up, yeah. everybody wants to else come up yeah. and bring things to the table, and you think you're helping, but you're really not. Yeah. You know, you're just, you're kind of creating a bigger problem. And, you know, it's, again, you're seeing how powerful the EDM community is as a whole because we all care. And, you know, one of the biggest, one, the, the tweet that kind of t- started this all is, you know, say what you want about the EDM community, but we destroyed an artist overnight. Uh, uh, there was a huge outlash on Twitter. Like, Twitter was blowing up. You wouldn't really know because yeah, you're not on Twitter. Yeah. yeah Twitter. But Twitter, and it's all, inst- all, like, social networks were going crazy. And he just had no choice but to back out. Like, he had too much against him. And, I mean, he got dropped. He got dropped. That's the, that's another thing too. You know, I feel if, like that's a very big. If if these allegations were to be serious enough, I think I think snails would be dropped, and well, it would be that serious. I mean, I haven't really done enough research yet to figure it out. That's all I've heard. I think I just saw a meme today. That that's what started this. That was it, basically. And yeah, she saw the meme, and then I was like, "What?" I, all I heard was allegations and rape and snails, yeah. and I was just like, "What?" And actually, all I heard, all I thought of was that's it. Apparently, someone that I know, it happened to either his friend or a friend of his, and he was kind of, you know, saying his opinion on it and how he's trash and this and that, and it's like, I still I still don't know what to think, you know? Unless you're right there and you, you know, it could just be drama. I don't know. All right, so that was all the information we have for you guys on the matter, and uh, it really just kind of raises this topic and the question that I've kind of been uh, thinking about, and I made a video about it, and I'm probably going to post it. Uh, following this video, it's talking about do you support an artist who is a great producer and a great musician, but a shitty person behind the scenes and not, you know, behind the decks, you know? So my, my examples I give are Dastic with the allegations, Monk's not showing up for shows and flaking on merch, and now we have this. Are you not going to support Snells because of these allegations? Because these rumors are going around? Are you going to have second thoughts? Are you going to start thinking differently about Snells? Because for me, personally, as long as it's, you know, it started with the music. You know, I don't know Snells personally. Everything that I'm hearing is just, you know, it's rumors. Until I see it, until I have evidence, until it is proven, I'm going to, you know, stick to my roots and, you know, continue to enjoy Snell's music and his personality. He's a good dude, you know what I'm saying? I haven't met him personally, but I've just seen him. I've seen his persona and his energy behind, you know, behind the stage in videos, and he just seems like a guy who's trying to have a good time. And you don't really, you don't really hear anything bad about Snell's, you know? But again, yeah. that's industry, you know? It's everything. There's so many things that happen behind the scene that nobody wants to talk about. And again, when one person does, everybody else wants to do it too. Well, that that's this like- whole Me Too movement. Even when it came to Monks, all these other yeah. artists started saying, you know, he flaked on my stems, he flaked on my collab, he didn't show up for that. And it's just like because one person called him out. I feel like the ending note that we should leave you guys with is innocent until proven guilty at this point. Because we've seen what happened with Datsik, and his career was destroyed, and he was never proven guilty. We just kind of made assumptions, and I don't want to see that happen again, because that's just going to send us on a downhill trail to just bad things for the community and our culture. If any more information unfolds, we will, well, one of us, I guess we, me, yeah, I'll probably bring it to you guys. <laughs> So, um, keep it you guys in the loop. Yeah, trying. But, uh, I'm really hoping this is just a 24 hour, just whew, like just tomorrow when it's gone. But, um, I'm interested to see what you guys think about the matter. I'm interested to see if it blows up. And uh, if it does blow up, we'll be talking about it. Hopefully, we don't have any more Dadsick scenarios going forward because that would just be another traumatic loss for our community. So, until the next one, guys, on the Festival Semester, this is Bree. We'll see you for the next one. Or I will see you for the next one. But you'll see Bree at like any show you come to. So, the pit. yeah, peace. Can I get a yeah?